I started off using Unreal Engine for this project, and that went well. The default car model is nice. It drives like a car as well as having speed and gear indicators built in. However, the blueprint within the car actor doesn't contain a node to change the speed, torque, braking power, or gear shift options. These options are pivotal to this game's design. There are nice car material packs available, which have car meshes and high quality car paint. With a little work, can be used to adjust the look of the car, but I wasn't able to easily get to the gameplay components I needed. Rather than fighting with the engine or spending money on plugins, I'm just switching tools. So for this project, I'll be using Unity. I started a new Unity project in the Universal Render Pipeline. The layout in Unity is a lot like the layout in Unreal Engine. A lot of things are in familiar places, so for me this was really simple to pick up and start using. I deleted the scenes I didn't need and then created a new scene. By default, the new scene doesn't have anything in it. Our first step is to right-click in the Hierarchy window, go down to 3D Objects and select Terrain. This makes a basic terrain very similar terrain to what you might see in any other engine. I wanted to make sure it was set to be a thousand by a thousand, and by default it was, so I was actually pretty happy with that. In the Terrain Inspector, you have an option of selecting different brushes, and you can change the brush size, the opacity, which is kind of like the intensity of what the click is going to do in that brush. I like this sort of random brush for what I want to do, and all I want to do for this type of game is increase the edge so that way the player drives around, they can't see that there's no horizon there. It's a really simple design. Something that I learned about this tool real quick is that if you click off the terrain section, you end up losing your brush, and so you have to click on the terrain again to grab the brush and paint that texture back on. It happened to me a few times as I was doing this, but all I want to do is elevate the edge of the terrain and my plan is to make a figure eight track somewhere in the middle here. So that way I can use this for two reasons. I can test my own gameplay within the game, and I can give this level to the player as a test level so that the player can use it to determine whether or not the upgrades they're making are any good. I'm using the Road Architect plugin here. The link is in the description, and all you have to do is right click in the hierarchy window, choose a new road, and it gives you a spline tool. Start your road by holding the shift key and clicking to make new spline nodes. It automatically connects. I can make the simple figure eight that I'm looking for. Now to make a figure eight without a bridge would be a little trickier because it wouldn't know exactly how to connect. Those nodes would have to make it a complete intersection. And so the system would be a little bit confused by that. What I plan on doing is making a little overpass so that the player can drive under it. At this point here, you can see the tool has a bit of a hard time connecting up these nodes. I'm not really worried about that for now, because I should be able to delete the nodes from the hierarchy window, and that will take care of this problem for me. So what I think I want to do at this point, I'm going to delete a couple of these nodes because I just don't see a way to connect this. Select the node, hit the delete key, and they go away. The Road Architect plugin will automatically find the node and finish the road for you. All I have to do now is elevate the section of the road that I'm clicking on, and then I can pass the rest of the road underneath this road, connecting it up to make the track. The material is pink now because it's set for the 3D pipeline. That's okay, in just a few minutes we'll fix that. So if I elevate this node, and the two nodes beside it, actually I might even be able to delete that node in my bridge, but we're going to increase the elevation, so that way the player doesn't have to, too steep of a hill to climb as they drive. It's just a practice track, so we don't want to do anything too crazy. I want to increase the elevation here, so that the player can actually drive under it comfortably without looking odd. I don't want to confuse the player or also create a situation where they can drive off the overpass and then sort of cheat the track. I 
I just want to increase this node here to even out the dip in the road. You could leave stuff like this in your track just for flavor. Uh, there's nothing against it, but I'm going to take it out. Now let's work on setting up the overpass. I'm going to make the elevation the same for both of these nodes. And then you just check the box that says bridge start. It couldn't be any easier. It's a very, very simple tool. And then you check the box on the second node where the bridge ends. And the system finds it and says, OK, that's the end of the bridge. And voila, it makes the bridge in the terrain. The next step is to select the bridge start node and open the wizard. From that wizard, which comes default with the plugin, you've got 14 bridges to choose from. And for me, this is relatively simple. I don't need a very advanced bridge. I just want to have the feeling of driving through it. Next, I'm going to drag these nodes from one end to the other and then connect them up and finish my road. It's that easy. I should be able to just drop this on the other road node and connect this road together and that completes my figure eight track. Something does seem off about this node. It's not quite connecting the way I want to, but I'm not going to troubleshoot all of that just yet. Next, I want to fix this pink road issue. Go to the edit window and then choose render pipeline. Now choose universal render pipeline and upgrade project materials to universal RP materials and this should turn the road from pink into an actual road. There we go, just like that, it's super easy. This free plugin is really quite advanced. It's, it's amazing actually. It's nice having the ability to just draw a spline, it makes the road. There are many options out there with this tool that I'm not gonna go into in this tutorial, but there is a link in the description for a full tutorial for this plugin. My goal here is just to make a simple driving level so I can test the features within my game rather than get into the nuance of the road, but there are many, many options. You can make four lane roads, you can make six lane roads, you can make multiple roads within the system and have intersections and cool stuff like that uh, if that's the flavor of your game. Um, but again, for this game, it's just going to be very simple and I don't need all that stuff right now. I do want to clean up all of these little nodes by deleting the ones that are unnecessary. I have a few that I just don't feel like I need. All of these nodes... There's also this rather jagged terrain on the side here that I want to make sure I will have the ability to either smooth out or do something else with. I could put rocks over the edge to hide it that way, but it looks like by default there's this nice smooth tool built into the engine and if you just hold the mouse button and drag it over these really hard slopes, it smooths over the edges. And now I don't have to worry about adding more objects into the game, which can help keep the game size down and has less objects to render. I'm not going to worry about doing too much of that for now anyways because the gameplay elements are more important. I need to import a few assets here. All assets are downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. I'm importing them through the Package Manager under the Window menu. All the links are in the description. And once all those assets are imported, I can go into the Standard Assets folder and import the car prefab. The car prefab is actually kind of a nice default test car. The asset comes with a controller script attached to it, which will allow me to drive through my level and just kind of see what I've been able to accomplish thus far. I think the whole project up to this point has taken me about an hour. Now, if you're like me and you've just made a new scene, and make sure you drag the camera to the car and make some adjustments to the camera, so that way when you play the game, the camera follows the car. And the default movement keys are there. I can just drive through the level that I've already made for myself, and this gives me some perspective. There are sounds playing, but I turned them off in the game engine because they don't sound all that pleasant right now, so, so you can't hear the default sounds of this car. That may come up later, but for now they are turned off. I can see the hills that I made on the far end. And here I go spinning out, so it's not even that easy. All right, we're off and running. We've officially got started. The track is in and we can drive on it. Coming up is some set dressing for the track levels.